Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome, welcome. We are going to tap into the energy and see what the divine has for us this evening. Okay, um, all signs, take it as it resonates, earth, air, water, fire. Um, you know your story. You know your situation. Do not make it fit. Okay, it'll drive you crazy. Um, some of the messages, like a lot of people don't really understand. I feel like I got to speak on it. It's nothing wrong with the fact if you hear these messages and you don't fully get it. I mean, that means that, you know, you're in the process. Okay. But understand just because you want it doesn't mean that you're ready. Okay. Um, you have to grow spiritually. Okay, it's not something you can step into overnight. Okay, it's a process and it takes time. Okay, sometimes it's going to feel like it's taking forever. Okay, for certain things to come through and happen the way you want. Okay, and that right, that's the energy I'm picking up on with this reading. Right, um, whoever you are right now, you're in a state of doubt, you're in a state of loneliness, you know, feeling like you're by yourself, and um, your relationships, right? This is what's got you feeling like doubtful hopeless um things are not going as hoped for as planned um some of you are under judgment of something and then some of you it's just not time for you to step into that light that you that you think <laughs> you're ready to step into you know some of you is divine timing and then some of you are under judgment okay some of you are being put in a state of loneliness to reflect on your relationships okay What are you doing wrong? Okay, where you went, went wrong, what can you do different? Okay. Yeah, that's the energy. Like, somebody's in solitude. And they're really heavily thinking things over. And they just have this sense of doubt that things may never work out the way they want them to. It says service. I feel good when I can help others. So maybe in your day to day, you know, to kill what's really bothering you deep down on the inside. You know, you do things to occupy your time, keep you busy, right? You try to not focus, okay, on the things you feel like you failed at and are failing at, okay? So, you give, you give yourself to others, right, to make up for the loss, you understand? But whoever you are. You're someone who's going through an awakening. Okay, that's why you're under judgment. Because judgment, okay, 
it's like going to trial okay it's gonna put you especially you know if you're the suspect in question it's gonna put you on the stand and they're gonna say on such and such and such a time in such and such a place you did this that's judgment okay so spiritual judgment is you know spirit showing you your life you know this is why you're alone you know this is why that didn't work for you you know look at the choices you made look at the things you did you know what i mean that's spiritual judgment okay and then you're and you're to you you know you're reflecting but no that's spiritual judgment okay some people can't face the shadow side of themselves. Some people refuse to. And those are the people that to this day haven't fully healed because they can't face the truth. You know. But Spirit is saying if you trust, right, in the divine, right, and you allow yourself to stop playing the blame game, you know, you want to blame everybody else but yourself and allow yourself to grow, right? You can still be led to peace, okay? And you can still have abundance, okay? In your life, and your relationships, okay? The problem is people are not failing you. You're failing yourself, okay? Like I said, some people refuse to face the truth about themselves, okay? Right, what did I say? What did the Spirit say? If you trust the divine, if you surrender, right? If you allow yourself to render, to surrender, I'm sorry, and walk in your truth, Okay, it'll put you in a whole different light. Okay, and going forward, the way your relationships were failing you, they won't be failing you. Okay. <clears throat> Envy. Okay. <sighs> you envy in the sense of you see someone in a better position than you or a better spot and that makes you upset because you feel like that should be you it could be you but you know spirit says you have to change okay you know lately i've been noticing in my readings <clears throat> someone spirit is really trying to reach someone and these these readings that I'm giving because, and it's trying to pr prompt you, promote you to change, you know, choose a different way from the way you've been going. Okay. You don't have to be jealous of anybody. Okay. You can have what the next person has, if not more. Okay. But you have to change. You have to surrender. Okay. You have to allow yourself to face judgment. Okay, so you could be someone that's very, you're full of empathy, okay, um, you can pick up on a situation very well, okay, so that being said, you kind of already know what the problem is, it's just doing the work, that's the problem. You feel like it's too much work, but you know, how much are you worth is what you really have to ask yourself, okay? You don't see it, but you have every reason to show gratitude, okay? You're someone who doesn't give thanks or show thanks, right? You feel like you deserve it anyway, you know what I mean? And that's the wrong way to go about the way you're going about it, right? That's why it says, you know, you need to show gratitude, okay? You have to be thankful 
for where you are and what you have right now in your life. You understand? That's how you level up. You know, you can't be envious, you know, and hateful and blaming everybody else. And it's choices and things that, that you've done in your own life that led you here. Okay, and there's something in the energy that's got you in a sense of guilt. You know, you feel guilty about something. You know, you're carrying you're carrying a lot, and what you need is a release. Okay, I'm telling you, that's what you need. A release ritual. Okay, get into spiritual baths and stuff like that. That all that stuff is real. Okay, it really works. Um, this is weighing you down. <sighs> To the point where, I mean, you're starting to have health issues. If you haven't, you know, they're going to start happening for you. They're going to start showing up because, you know, people fail to understand that how you feel has everything to do with your health. Okay, you can't be a bitter, hateful, mean person and you you in top health, okay? Usually people that's real bitter and mean, they have like heart conditions, okay? And I've come across a lot of people. I work with a lot of people, okay? That I'm like, oh, no wonder you have heart conditions. You mean as hell, you know? <laughs> it's like that hardness of heart, that's serious. That is the most unhealthiest thing to like just have a heart full of hate. I'm telling you, that shit is going to cause major health issues for you later on in life. Okay? You could be someone that's facing a lot of adversity. Okay? But you're trying to paint the picture that everything's fine because you're trying to, you know, persevere. You're trying to push through what you're going through. But, you know, Spirit says all you have to do is surrender. Okay, all you have to do is make the change here. That's all you have to do. That's it. <laughs> and that's like the hardest thing for someone to do here. It's like the surrender is too much for you. That's giving up too much of your power. But that's the only way for the loneliness to go away. That's the only way for the doubt to go away. That's the only way for the envy you carry to go away. That's the only way to really be able to persevere through your adversities is to do that in a work, to surrender, right? Your way is not working, right? That's why you're so doubtful because you thought your way would work, but your plan is not working. And, you know, like I said, you're under judgment. If not in the court of law, this is a spiritual fight. You know, spirit is actually trying to awaken some of you and you are refusing to be awakened because you don't want to hear it. You know, discipline. See what I mean? See what I mean? Some of you are not ready to fully step into what's on offer to you. <laughs> And spirit is like, well, I tell you what, until you get it right, it's not going to be right. Because your way does not work, and it will not work, okay? Right. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but these cards came out stuck together, right? We got failure, right? And then we got purpose. Spirit is telling you your purpose is a complete fail, all right, your way, it hasn't worked for you so far. You know, nobody's doing nothing to you. You're doing this to yourself, a lot of you. Now, this is not everybody's reading, okay? So you got to take it as it resonates, okay? If it's sitting in your gut, okay, if you feel it deep in your soul, then this is for you. If it's pissing you off, <laughs> right, <laughs> then there's some truth about it, right? You need to... Maybe listen to the message again on those parts that spirit is telling you that the problem is the envy, right? The fact that you don't trust in the divine. You don't even believe that there's a God, right? And that's where you're making your mistake. That's where your blessings come from, right? 
Right, you're someone that finds spirituality humorous. Like, it's funny, it's a joke, but that's what your life has been up until this point. You know, spirit is like, well, since you're laughing at me, I'm going to laugh at you too. You're sitting there looking for blessings and abundance, and spirit is like, ha, they come from me. You know what I mean? Spirit is like, you laughing at me? I'm going to laugh at you too. Right? You sitting over there with all that pride, right? Full of emptiness, jealous of what other people got, missing all your happiness because you refuse to admit that there's some things you need to change. <laughs> I mean, we all do it. We all do it. I did it. You know, if you listen to some of my readings where I talk about I never really wanted to step into what I'm doing right now. When I told, like, I was going to be a speaker, you know, I was told I had a calling. Like I said, I was a teenager. It's like, what? I'm not doing that. Sometimes I'd be cracking up watching my own videos. I'm like, yo, I remember when I said I was never, you, <laughs> I'm not speaking to all those people. Here I am. You know, it's like when Moses was in the desert, God said, look, I want you to go do me a favor. Moses said, no, I don't want to do it. God was like, what? <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to do it. You know, if anybody knows that story of Moses, Moses got his ass tossed up in that desert. Okay? And God will do that to you. He was like, listen, if you go this way, it'll work. But if you go that way, you're going to get fucked up. What do we usually do? We usually do what we're told not to. That's what I did. And I got my ass tossed it up. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I want to do the right thing. You know, after you get your ass tossed up good enough. I mean, listen, you will fall in line to the divine. I swear you will. Right? I, I was ready for that spiritual death. It's like, okay. that Okay, that shit did not. <laughs> that shit was not what I was aiming for. <laughs> Right, right. Listen, there was so much grief. I'm like, no, nah, that that is not the way to do it. Right, there's so much regret. You know, when you think you shining the light on your path the way it should be shined on your path, the spirit is like, no, that's not what I'm trying to do here. You know, I need you to get out of my way. Let me do the work. Okay. I created you. I don't need your help. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, just think about it. That's really the reality of it. There is a higher power. Okay? There is. Right. Some of you are in denial. I don't know if I believe. I don't know if I believe that. Hmm. Some of you, you are watching these videos because, you know, you're trying to believe, you know, is this something I want to do? Is this something I want to try? You know, right. Indecision. You're undecided about whether you want to take this spiritual path because a lot of you are worried about your self-esteem. Like, what is, what is everybody else going to think of me if I do this? Okay. But spirit is urging you to be courageous, right? And do it in love. All right. Because when you do it in love, Okay, and you stand in patience. What you are allowing yourself to do is face your fears. Okay. And facing your fears are a part of healing. Okay, I'm telling you. Right, what What did I say? You'll find, you'll find balance when you're able to face your fears. You find balance. Because it's not your good side that's the problem. It's your dark side, right? It's the shadow side of yourself that's keeping you fucked up. It's not the good parts. So that's why Spirit is telling you, see, what you need to do, you need to work on your relationships. You need to work on being jealous of what other people have. You know, if you don't have it, you don't want them to have it. You don't think they should have it. That should be me. It's like, no, divine timing. Okay, make your choice and choose wisely, okay? <clears throat> Stop being impulsive. Take your time. 
What day are you going to die? I don't know exactly the point. Take your time. What if I die tomorrow? Shit, what if you do? <laughs> what if you don't? Right? Take your time. Spirit is saying be patient. There is no rush. You want the blessing part, right? You rush and be impulsive. You're going to miss certain things. And then when you think you got what it is you want, some shit going to show up. You're going to be like, oh, no. It's like, see, what happened was you was in a rush. You was in a hurry. And you missed the fine print. You missed the most important part. Now you're stuck. Look, make the necessary changes. Try something new. Try something different. Okay? If you can do it with food, alcohol, you know what I mean? If you can buy, switch up your cars, I mean, what's wrong with trying something different in spirituality? It might work for you. You know, I'm not trying to convince you, <laughs> you know, but I mean, I'm just trying to think about it, make you think about it. If what you've been doing so far hasn't been working for you, why don't you try something different? You know, Spirit is telling you what you need to do. I'm telling you. That card says change. Right? Come on with this light. Hold on, y'all. This card says change. Spirit is telling you, like, this is what you need to do to make those necessary changes. Because as long as you stay on the path that you're going... It's always going to fail for you because it's not the path that you're supposed to be on. Okay? And that is the message. And I hope that helped. Okay? And it's true. You know, sometimes this message is going to piss people off. Especially if spirit is like, got you in a place where you know, I need to change. I need to make the changes. I need to make the necessary change. Then you hear this video and you be like, oh, look at that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you be like, oh, you judging me? I'm serious, because I did the same thing. Okay, you're but you're awakening though. Don't get mad at this message. Receive it. Just listen to it. If you gotta play this shit over and over and over and over, play it over and over and over till the shit don't make you mad no more. That's how you know you stepping into healing properly. When somebody can say some shit about you and it don't even phase you, be like, oh that's a difference, right? There. That's a change, right? If you know you're the type of person to fly off the handle, you hear what somebody say about you and that you step into awakening and then, you know, such and such said this about you, it, it don't even phase you. It's like you stepping into your healing and you getting deeper and deeper and deeper and you should allow yourself to keep going, okay? Because that's some medicine for your soul that you do not want to miss, I promise you, Okay? So I'm going to end the message there, and I hope it helps. And I do thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos, giving me your space, time, okay, and undivided attention. I do appreciate you. Um, until next time, stay blessed, stay positive, stay safe, and protect your energy, okay? Protect your energy. It's important. All right. Later, y'all.